So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today we're taking a look at Toucan's wireless video doorbell. Now, when I say wireless, I mean completely wireless. So no need to run power or network. Everything's built into this unit that you're seeing. So it does have a built-in battery, it lasts up to six months, it is rechargeable, and everything here runs off your network. So for anyone that's looking for a doorbell that don't have that tech know-how or they just need something that easily installs, this is a good option. So big shout out to Toucan for sponsoring this video. Also, I have reviewed their wireless outdoor camera. So go ahead and check that video out. I'll put a card in the top right. Uh, this one is as easy to install as the doorbell is. Please go ahead and check this video out as well. So let's take a look at some of the specifications and features. So you can record, see, and talk, of course, monitor packages even when you're away from home. You do get a live feed, 100% wireless, like I said, two-way audio, motion detection, push notifications on your phone, does have an adjustable angle. We're gonna play with that in a little bit. Battery powered, of course, no electrical outlets needed. Chime tones, so it does ring in your house and it does come with a ringer. We're gonna take a look at that in the unboxing. Night vision, and it is waterproof IP56. So as far as the contents of the box, let's go ahead and slide this out. So this has a sticker where you can place it on your window, let everyone know that you are protected. It also has your quick start guide. So it's gonna tell you everything you need to know about the system and how to set it up. So this is the actual chime for the doorbell guys, or the ringer. So um, this is gonna to connect to this guy wirelessly, uh, place it somewhere central in your house. And whenever someone presses the doorbell, uh, this should make the audible beep. So it did also come with two uh, AA batteries for the ringer. And on the ringer itself, it has a set button. Nothing else. This side pops off. Insert the two batteries and you're good to go. So I thought this was kind of funny. Uh, this tells you to push. So let's give it a shot. Nothing happened. So of course this just means pull and you go ahead and pull and the doorbell will pop out. Put that to the side, see what else we have in the box. So micro USB charger, the charger battery in the doorbell. Small Phillips head screwdriver for insulation. We also have two wall anchors to mount it, mounting bracket, two-sided tape, and we have some more two-sided tape, and this one is gonna be for the actual ringer. And this feels pretty good as well, pretty premium. Of course, it has the built-in battery, so it just has and added um, weight to it. Let's go ahead and take this off. Of course, I messed up this part. Let's try it again. Okay, that was not graceful. So here's a camera up top one. Let's go ahead and just pull this off. All right, we have an LED indicator right there. Doorbell right here. It does have a light around it. It's gonna illuminate based on what state the system's in. We also have an IR blaster. Speaker on the bottom, and if you look close right here, there's a microphone again. All right, so here's your charging port. You also have a reset. We can put a pin in there, and you do have the set button right there as well. Insulation for this, again, is real straightforward, guys. Two screws right here to mount it. Once you have it mount, this part goes into here. It slides up, and then you use this screw on the bottom to go ahead and secure it. It does have the option to use the two-sided tape, but that's gonna leave it less secure, so I wouldn't really recommend it. But I understand that if you're in a bind, the two-sided tape or the 3M tape might be your only option. So once you download the Toucan application, go ahead and press the big button on the doorbell. It will start flashing blue. When it starts flashing blue, follow the on-screen directions on your mobile device. Now, this is pretty straightforward. They did a good job walking you through the setup process. Now, once it's connected and verified, we're gonna go ahead and add the chime. Now, the chime is pretty straightforward as well. Press and hold the button on top. It will give you some instructions. Setup is in progress. Press the doorbell to connect. Head over to the doorbell, connect it, test and verify, and now you're ready for the installation. Real quick look over the interface. You can see we have two devices here. One's the driveway camera, and I'll go ahead and link that video on the top right. And also, you can see that I have the doorbell right here. So before we get into the actual device, at the bottom, you have your dashboard, so it shows all your cameras. You have your events. So this is gonna basically show motion of all the devices um, that's on your dashboard. So if I was to click on that, you can see that that's the motion sensor, and you can see it's playing right there. And at some point, something went in front of that camera. You can see it have a back to the 27th. 
and the 29th. So with the upgraded plan, you can obviously get more storage space. Next, you have your settings. So you have your account, device updates, share devices, support, terms and conditions, and let's go back home. So into the camera itself, let's go ahead and click on it. So here's a look at the camera, guys, and it does pan so you can go ahead and just move it left or right and also if you go into landscape it will uh, give you a nice picture one thing i noticed is that the focal point is in the middle right here in a circle so if you look to the left corners and the right corner it is kind of blurry but even when you do a manual recording you're going to get around a recording so that's probably the reason why all right so you have your audio you can go ahead and mute it there so you can hear it and you can click on that to go full screen once again, get back out of it. In the top right, you have your settings. So under settings, you can go ahead and hit the pencil to rename your device. You can also put it to do not disturb. You can turn on and off the timestamp. You have your night vision set to auto. You have three options there. You see they're on auto, always on or always off, um, which I guess it's not that great. Some cameras like this have detection area, so maybe in a future update that will be available. You also have your motion sensor sensitivity, your chime, all right, so we have it set to medium. You can set it to max, obviously. You also have your emergency call. Now, emergency call, you can set it to call 911, or you can put a phone number in there for it to dial. All right, so further down, we have the siren duration, event limit, and that's all on the pro subscription. So voice notes. So these are pre-recorded messages. Hello, was it? How can I help you? A moment, please. Sorry, we're pretty busy right now. Please put down the parcel here. No soliciting, thank you. So this is gonna be your manual video record. So you hit the record button, we'll start recording. And the good thing about that is that it actually saves it directly to your device. We'll hit stop. You have a photo, take a picture obviously. You do have your SOS, so if you hit this, this is where you have the option to either call 911 or call a person that you predetermined. And the other button on here is your alarm. So when you hit the alarm, it will start chiming outside. So if you see someone, hit the alarm, they hopefully will get the message and run away. So the big button in the middle, of course, is the talk. So hit that, you will start speaking to the person in front of you in a two-way chat. So that's pretty cool as well. Is it a letter or a package? It's a letter. So overall, I like this camera. There's a couple things I didn't like. Love the fact that it does have the built-in battery. No need to run to the existing doorbell. Love the fact that it does have the two-way talk and the ease of installation is key. Now, what I didn't like or what I had some issues with was during the live test. You guys can probably tell that the audio and the video is kind of choppy um, during that test and that's something I've played with. I tried different network, different positions and I wasn't able to get that issue resolved. So maybe that will be fixed in a future firmware. I'll keep you guys posted. But currently this doorbell is a bargain guys. It's on Amazon for $79. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link to my review of the Toucan wireless camera that I reviewed not too long ago. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up drop your questions in the comment section below and i'll catch you on the next one